because as South Africans, we are so quick to complain about our electricity issues, quick to complain about ESCOM. And yes, we are justified in doing so a lot of the time, but there are a lot of initiatives that are going and talked about and, and some very positive and encouraging things happening. And here to join, joining me now to talk about some of those things is the Managing Director of City Power, Sitrelo Tulu. Sitrelo, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Andy. Please tell us about your new initiative whereby you're investing one billion rand in electrifying informal settlements around Johannesburg. Yes, I mean, I mean I'm proud to really announce to the city of Johannesburg that uh, the city of Johannesburg has made a deliberate decision uh, to be able to identify the informal settlements within the city of Johannesburg. We've looked at the program over a period of time, and this is going to cost the city of Johannesburg about 1.5 billion just to make sure that we provide the services to the informal settlements. Now, Skutrelo, we can't ignore the negative, and there have been a lot of complaints about city power over the last few months, uh, allegations of 300 outages a month. What do you say to that? Oh, I mean, certainly, as I've said, I mean, I was doing the interview on the other station, for instance. I said, you know, we'll always have outages just because of the nature of the infrastructure that we run uh, in terms of distributing electricity to, to Johannesburg. Uh, but I think the important thing is how quickly do we respond to those outages when we do have the outages. I think that's the first thing. But the second one, I mean, you know, that we're now entering winter. We've had our first cold spell uh, I mean, from the last week. So that increases the demand and then obviously results in some of the outages. But I can assure the residents of Johannesburg that we are addressing the issues. We are making sure that we're pushing up our resources so, so that we can better respond to some of these outages. So I think that's an assurance that I can give to the citizens of Johannesburg that we will be addressing those issues that relate to the outages as part of our normal business. And we encourage them to be able to report them so that we're able to respond as soon as possible. Now, one of the struggles you face in Johannesburg is cable theft. What, do, what are you doing to address this issue? I mean, if you look at the causes of, of the outages, yes, one of them might be the increase in demand, and therefore there's overloading. But the worst one, I mean, we announced that about uh, 851 cases uh, that we have that are sitting before courts, uh, just over 700 of those are as a result of cable theft. So obviously we've got a multi-prone approach to deal with the issue of cable theft. I think firstly is to deploy some of the technologies that detect some of the theft before it happens, so to actually be proactive in our approach. But over and above that, we also have some of the intelligence that we put on the ground to deal with some of these criminal activities as well that are obviously happening. Uh, but I cannot disclose, I think, some of them because otherwise we'll be alerting some of the, you know, the perpetrators to know exactly what we're doing. But I can assure you that there's obviously a, a technology part of it. There's obviously the human intervention, but also dealing with uh, uh, some of the law uh, enforcement agencies as well in making sure that we come up with some of the solutions that we're looking at. Thank you so much. That was the Managing Director of City Power, Sitrelo Tulu, here from the African Utility Week.